Welcome to another edition of the Mizzou Minute. I'm Todd Palmer, beat writer for the Kansas City Star here at Mizzou Arena where Missouri's men's basketball team will open the regular season tonight against Wofford. Of course, that's not the news of the day. The news of the day is that Gary Pinkle was diagnosed in May with lymphoma and will resign at the end of the season. Um, it's been a tumultuous week on campus already, obviously. I think everybody by now is aware of some of the protests that have been taking place, the fact that there was a solidarity strike by the players Saturday. Um, uh, you know, those kind of things, uh, you know, at least from the boycott perspective, uh, were, were wrapped up on Monday, and we've known that this was uh, this game against BYU at 6.30 Saturday at Arrowhead Stadium was going to take place. But it's been an incredibly trying week for everyone in Columbia. Um, you know, the entire community has been on edge a little bit, The you know, um, and, and obviously the focus of the nation early in the week uh, was on Columbia. And so, um, you know, when, when you're looking at it from a football perspective, though, and that's what I want to talk about here strictly is the football team, I, I don't know how they get ready for this BYU game. I mean, it was going to be difficult enough with the social issues that were swirling around them, the strike and and then, you know, practice and, and, and you know, some of the threats that were made on campus Tuesday. And I understand that a lot of those threats proved not to be true. They were unfounded about things like the KKK being on campus and things like that. But the fear that some of these students and some of the people in this community felt uh, when they were hearing and seeing these things um, through social media was very much real. So uh, you, you can't minimize that part of it. And, and now, a day before they're supposed to play, they find out that their coach, um, you know, who is, you know, the patriarch of the family, so to speak, uh, a man that many of them came to love even more because he came out and supported them and was steadfast and that supported them this week, not only has cancer, but he's not going to be their coach anymore after this season. So especially for the underclassmen, that's some gutting news because this is the man who recruited them. This is the man who brought them here. This is the man that they love and respect, and he's not going to be around moving forward. It will be interesting to see how this affects recruiting. It will be interesting to see if any players who are already committed uh, decide that uh, they want to reopen their recruitment and, and see what happens as far as identifying his replacement. Um, I, I, I've talked to Deron Davis at Hogan Prep, and he said he's still 100% committed to Missouri, but obviously there are more kids. There's a lot more kids that they're trying to target. So, um, you know, it's unclear how that situation is going to play out and how today's news will affect that. And then on top of all that, now you've got to look forward who, you know, might be a candidate, uh, you know, to replace Gary Pinkle. I think certainly if you're looking in-house, there are a couple guys – uh, most notably Andy Hill, who's been with the university forever, um, or Barry Odom, who is going to be a head coach one day at somewhere. Um, and then you've got the hot names out there, you know, coaches at Memphis and Houston and Bowling Green and places like that. But there's also a lot of competition. USC has an opening. South Carolina has an opening. Virginia Tech now has a job opening. So uh, it'll be interesting to follow the developments there, you know, as the dominoes start to fall and where does Missouri line up in the pecking order trying to get its next coach. Obviously, Gary Pinkle proved you could win here. Uh, you know, they're uh, paying uh, $4 million a year for his services. So um, that's a competitive salary. You're in what's considered the best football conference in America, even if some of that, you know, some of that star or, you know, even if that, that feeling is waning a little bit, um, you know, it's still a prestigious conference, um, you know, but there's a lot of questions and not many answers right now about Missouri. Um, as we get answers, though, um, we're going to bring them to you at KansasCity.com. So keep coming back for more about the developing situations at the University of Missouri.